The sad downfall of Shafi Abdarawelu was a completely unseen event but a case of self-sabotage from the brutal and apologetic nature of the bad boy of radio. The bad boy of radio, Shafi Weru. Shafi's rise and dominance in the radio is the lead definition of cool and successful. From his early days, he was a well-known party boy. <laughs> I'm still a reverend. No one in Kenya has uh, partied for 48 hours. Uh, 48 parties in 48 hours. My nature, like, wow. do it. I've done it uh, twice in a row. A show stopping MC. <laughs> whom, whenever his name was mentioned, it had to be in between the lines of party or having fun. Shavi, Prezo, myself. Shavi had a range over that time. My God. All right. To Komaji. And it's no wonder he was the most famous intern at Kiss. Kenya's new case. Shavi was not only good at having fun. When chance came for him to be a radio presenter, he showed undeniable chemistry with whoever he co-hosted with. His Rauka segment Let's go. Rauka. had a big number of us turning up to the radio every morning. He was fierce, crazy, <laughs> hilarious, <laughs> and could get away with anything. And I will tell you how I got you. Can you organize human blood? Excuse me? Yes. Human blood? Yes, damn. Shafi was arguably the best radio breakfast show host in the country. And it's no doubt he was pocketing around a million shillings every month. The bigger the paycheck, the better the life. <laughs> Shafi was living large, big cars and big goods for his children fees. His life was everything you could ever wish for. However, in 2019, people started noticing his absence in the radio. There were rumors that Kamene and Kibe were about to replace them. Uh, if anybody lost their job today, I wouldn't, it's not something to celebrate. Of course, you know, 100%. I just went for my daughter's a promotion in Seto. Yes, yes. Shafi ravished the claims, claiming he was on leave and had taken some time off, although his co-host would release the statement. After seven years in case, I need a new challenge, implying she had quit to pursue other endeavors. Shafi, on the other side, would turn up on Homebo's radio as a program controller. With his first experience, they had high hopes on him making them the number one hip-hop radio station in the country which justifies the 700,000 salary he was getting. Well, I should mention in this time, Shafi was still I'm seeing. He had a TV show alongside DNG and was still running his events companies. I'm a promoter. I run two events companies. I'm a director at Roya and I'm a director at uh, A1. He was a smart, cool kid who knew how to chase the back. However, his upward trajectory would take a dark turn on March 2021. The host of the breakfast show that I was hosting that got me to all this, uh, you know, uh, quagmire is G Money. He got COVID and then ah, he's COVID. He stood in for him. Yeah. He... A breakfast show host, G Money, wasn't feeling well and the station needed a standing. They approached Shafi, who initially refused. But the bosses would approach him for the second time, and this time they were not asking. It was Shafi, Nero, and DJ John Fabio. The show was off to a great start. The public was happy to hear Shafi again, but would turn on him on the third week. While discussing a chilling new incident that had occurred, the trio would state this. Eh? The guy pushed her over the and, 12th uh, you know, floor. The 12th floor. Wow. And now she's a cripple. Damn, and that's I'm crazy. calling on all the ladies. This is 2021. 20, uh -huh. With the pandemic and all the problems that we're facing. What are you telling the ladies, I'm Shafi? telling the ladies, you guys need to be to play hard to get. What, what, do you think Kenyan Chiles, eh, whether you are dating or not, uh -huh. are too available? Are they too loose? Uh -huh. Are they too willing? Are uh -huh. they too desperate? Damn. And that's why they're getting themselves caught up in such situations? Bro. Kunala got too available. Kunala is bro. <laughs> The public went crazy. Women and every feminist was calling them out. It was all over the social media and More the media. People.
are the ones who are giving you some sort of fame and making you feel that women are loose and they're all over the place. It is not a representation of the larger population of Nairobi. Away from that, the Radio Africa group will have to pay a million shillings as a fine for its presenters, promoting what the communication authority says is a breach of ethics. Even though they did make a wee sorry apology, the damage was already done. I have no beef with the, you know, Kenyans. I have no beef with people on social media. I have no beef with anybody. Uh, whoever, you know, in whatever way they took it or how they perceived it, yeah. I can't judge them for that. Yeah. Shafi's effort to redeem himself in several interviews won of fruits. He, however, did show disappointment on how the company had handled the issue. But what I'm planning to do next, definitely, is I'm not about to give someone 18 years of my life again. Uh, how it was handled by the management of that particular station and how we got just, you know, dismissed. It did not help anybody. That's why I'm saying two wrongs don't make a right. And would sue them over unpaid salary and breach of contract. But by now, it was clear Shafi's radio career was over. He no longer was the Shafi we knew. He tried to go digital, but after just three episodes, he wouldn't continue anymore. He did move to working with the presidential campaign team, but most people don't know this since he was no longer in the headlines. Shafi's downfall wasn't really a fall off, as two years later, he gave an interview showing the most and understanding. He now understood his comments, no matter the issue he was trying to address, had come at the wrong time. It was an experience that I never expected. Mm. I just woke up one day and uh, things went the way they went. Mm. And I just made peace with it. In this interview, he showed his growth as a person. Shafi wasn't trying to lead him himself, but he did show development and understanding, which was enough redemption for him. Currently the head of events in Nairobi County, Shafi doubts. I doubt anyone can afford me. Okay. to get me back on radio, right. as in, I don't know how much money they're going to pay me to put me back And on. his radio return remains a might or might not situation to him. Well, he might be doing well, but his story just shows how fragile this industry is and how just one mistake can ruin a decades-old career.